We talked about the prostitute who entered into paradise because she gave water to a thirsty dog. And we talked about the small, simple deeds that people did that earned them the ultimate reward of Allah's pleasure and entered them into Jannah. And Ali radiallahu anhu has a beautiful statement that speaks to that same sentiment. He says that, إِنَّ اللَّهَ أَخْفَى إِثْنَتَيْنِ فِي إِثْنَتَيْنِ Allah has concealed, Allah has hidden two within two. Allah has hidden two within two. And those two things are connected to one another. So, إِنَّ اللَّهَ أَخْفَى إِثْنَتَيْنِ فِي إِثْنَتَيْنِ He said that Allah has hidden two within two. He said He has hidden His pleasure within His good deeds, so you don't know which of your good deeds is going to attain His pleasure. So what that does essentially is it keeps you in pursuit of those good deeds. You keep on doing those good deeds because you don't know which of those good deeds is going to be the one that that earns you Allah's pleasure. And so you continue to do those good deeds. Then he said, and Allah has hidden his friends, his awliya amongst his ibad, amongst his servants. And so you don't know which of the servants of Allah is one of his friends. This is an incredible statement, right? Uh, because in Islam, we don't have a hierarchy of spirituality. We have a hierarchy of knowledge. We've got scholars and lay people. They've got judges in history. You've got people that obviously are, um, you know, in tune with the tradition and that give advice and they'll see how based on the tradition, you have scholars that teach the tradition. But at the end of the day, you don't know if the teacher or the student is better in the sight of Allah. You don't know if the speaker or the listener is better in the sight of Allah. You don't know if the person who has a place of prominence or the person that's in the corner of the masjid is the one that is prominent in the sight of God. You have no idea which person is a wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, like someone who has attained that station. You don't know which person it is. And it could be that in society, as the Prophet Sallallahu you know, uh, had, had seen this in front of his eyes and, uh, and, and actually quizzed the companions. He asked the companions, what do you say about uh, this person? And then what do you say about this person? And uh, for one person who's very prominent, who's, who has a great position in society, uh, you know, th- they spoke very highly. Another person who was very quiet, uh, kind of obscure, and they spoke low of him, but the Prophet Sallallahu said that person is better than an earthful of the former, right? So you don't know which person is a wali of Allah, is a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of his close chosen friends. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, Man bil That Allah has said that whoever uh, takes one of my friends as his enemy, then I will wage war on that person on behalf of my friend. So you don't know who you're messing with, literally, uh, when you're messing with someone, when you are uh, wronging someone, and when you are uh, belittling someone, because that might be a person that is favored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that has a high position with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's the connection between these two statements? Well, the first one is Allah has hidden his pleasure within his good deeds. The second one is Allah has hidden those whom he is pleased with amongst his servants. And so Allah has hidden his pleasure and Allah has hidden those whom he is pleased with. Allah has hidden his pleasure and Allah has hidden those whom he is pleased with. What's the connection between the two? Well, for one, when it comes to our good deeds, we do not belittle a single good deed because that might be the good deed that attains Allah's pleasure, that earns us Allah's pleasure. And two, we don't belittle any person in front of us and how we treat that person because that person might be one of those whom Allah is highly pleased with. And so honoring that person attains us a greater honor in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you're treating someone with, with, with honor that Allah has honored as well. 